Leo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for September 14th through the 21st. Whoops. All right. So I apologize that you guys didn't get your reading last week. I got sick and couldn't do it. Could not do it. All right. So, and for those of you that reached out for personal readings, you also know this. So I apologize. Um, but sometimes it happens. So anyway, we're going to move forward. So September 14th through the 21st, we're going to just start with one card here. All right, so this card is from this deck. It's called the Gateway to the Liminal Spirits. So we'll see what we get here. I have to use the book for this. We have Deer. Deer. What is this about? Let's see. What is the deer about? These are beautiful cards. All right, the deer. The messages around the deer. Take care to respect and make note of your surroundings. You don't need to be loud or big to make a difference. Move forward with grace and dignity. So you might feel like you might be feeling small in a situation or you might be feeling unnoticed. Um, but I feel like that that's not the case. That might be your perception. Be prepared to take action at a moment's notice as quick thinking will be required of you. Preparation provides a foundation so you'll be balanced even in difficult situations. It is time to be light of heart, not letting fear or worry weigh you down. Savor the moment and allow yourself, your, allow yourself a sense of play. So having more fun. Having more fun and being prepared. Being prepared for something at a moment's notice. So when we're talking about relationship, okay, or we're talking about connection, it feels like something a little bit unexpected here could be coming. All right, so these cards right here are going to represent you. And these cards will represent the person that <clears throat> you're interested in, you're in a connection with, you want to be in a connection with, whatever it is, all right? All right, so these two cards here represent what you want. Okay, what this person wants, what you want. This represents any actions that the two of you have taken towards each other. And this represents where you're actually at right now. Okay? All right, so let's see. What is it that you want? We've got the High Priestess. So, the High Priestess... You know, when, when I think of a deer, this card definitely comes to mind. The deer is very, very kind of quiet, right? Kind of wants to be in the background, doesn't want to be seen, doesn't want to be noticed. I feel like, I kind of feel like that's your energy, which is really unusual for, for Leo. So somebody might really have you like kind of turned upside down. Like you, you might want to be, or you might want to keep this connection or these feelings kind of to yourself right now. You're, you might be trying to just kind of figure things out. I feel like you're keeping your feelings close to your heart right now. I don't feel like you're sharing them. And that might be what you prefer right now. What does this person want? All right, so we have Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to see who you truly are, and you might be sensing that. You know, this person 
might be trying to pursue you. You might be trying to figure out, is this person for real? I feel like they're asking the same question. Is Leo for real? Like you're being uncharacteristically quiet when it comes to your person right now. It's like they want to see, they want to see you take off this veil. Okay? They want to see what's underneath the veil with you. They want you to remove the veil. All right? So, what action have you taken, if anything? Eight of Cups. So, you know, I feel almost like you're running away from somebody. Somebody might really make you feel uncomfortable. You know, and it could be that you're just not ready. You, you may not be ready for this person. This person might be bold. This person, this person notices you in a crowd. And you might, high priestess, you might have an intuition that they are noticing you. This might be somebody that is high profile in some way. This might be somebody that um, is in the public eye. You may not want to be in the public eye. Okay? You might not want to be around this person for reasons that you're uncomfortable with. Something possibly in that area. All right, so what has this person done? King of Wands. Yeah. I, I feel this. This person, I feel like, is very, very confident, very, he's a, he or she is a go-getter. And I, I feel like you feel that. Like, this King of Wands is coming after you. You might be dealing with a fire sign. You might be dealing with an earth sign. But I feel like it's like the king of wands knows, knows what he wants and he goes after it. So I feel like you are being pursued in some way. And it's, it's really not like Leo to not enjoy that process. So I feel like there is something about this person that... You know, this person, again, could be a boss, king of wands, could be a head of a company, could be an entrepreneur, could own his own company. There's something uncomfortable about this situation for you. All right, so where are we at right now? Ten of wands. All right, so... I feel like I feel like you do have feelings for this person. You do want to explore this, but there's something about this person like you might feel like they're not being very careful, like they're being um like they're being too forward with you or they're they're not thinking about the perception of other people, which honestly is a good thing. But for some reason, I feel like the perception of other people with this person to you is important. Like this person could be on one side of the, the political spectrum, right? And you might be on the other side of the political spectrum. And, you know, in this you know, during this time, that might be highly uncomfortable for you. Like, other people in your life might say, what are you doing with this person? Even though there is a, there is definitely a part of you that wants this. It's like you're in hiding. This person is looking for you or, you know, they might seek you out. They are seeking you out. Right now, it's a burden for you. Where's this person at? Look at this, Eight of Cups. So, I, I feel like this person is chasing you. 
Like wherever you're going, Eight of Cups, this person is going, is following you. And that's why this, this Ten of Wands is here. I feel like you might open up to this person or be more comfortable if the two of you are in complete privacy. And that might be what's happening here. All right, so I'm really interested. I'm going to pull a couple of Oracle cards on these Eight of Cups. Patience. I almost feel like what you would tell this person is, please have some patience. Wait until this time. Wait until this is over. Wait until um, whatever is being put in the spotlight right now, wait until this that is done. And for this person, we've got re-energize. That's exactly what this person is trying to do. They're chasing you because they want to re-energize this. And I feel like you're saying, please have some patience. It's like you want to be in the background right now for some reason. Ten of Pentacles. It could be, it could be that you are otherwise committed it could be that you, you know, ten of, ten of Pentacles, you might have feelings for somebody that you feel like you just, you cannot be with right now for some reason. Eight of Swords. This person is going to end up feeling very restricted when it comes to you. I feel like you are holding out on this person. For some reason, you're holding out. You want this to be quiet. They do not. They are dying to spend time with you. And they don't care who knows about it. And if you're playing a little bit coy here, if you're purposely, you know, they still feel your energy. They still feel your attraction towards them. This person is very keen to, to picking up on that energy. So if you think that this person is not picking up on it, they are. And you might know they are, and that's why you're you're really trying to stay in the background. And I feel like you're waiting for something to be over. You you know what? You might be waiting for um a relationship that you're in to be over. You might be waiting for a divorce to be final. You might be waiting to move to another department at work. So you can, so it's not so obvious. Other people, I feel like, are a factor here for you in some way. This person that you're dealing with doesn't care. So you, um, you might be the person actually in the higher position here if it's a work thing. Okay, but with King of Wands, I truly feel like this person is just coming after you, which is very unusual in, in today's world, honestly. But I feel like this person really wants you. All right, Leo. That's what I have. Interesting one for you this week. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. Um, I will, uh, I'll talk to you next time and have a fantastic week. And thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.